G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Final Fantasy 15 update news video. So today saw the drop of version 1.19 and along with that version 1.20. Now in most of the uh, similar fashions, the 1.19 has the bulk of the actual content and then the 1.20 is just kind of various bug fixes to take care of whatever they broke in uh, 1.19. So this is the big patch with the bro switch and I just want to start off by saying I apologize for my video where I said um, it has been confirmed that we do get free roam. I tried to amend the title and I did post in that video uh, a couple of weeks back but I don't really know if anyone saw it but it's completely my fault. Uh, I read into the information too much and got a little bit excited. You can't actually play as the bros in free roam mode. Uh, even with this new patch. So for anyone that I've disappointed, then I'm sorry, but I I guess it doesn't really change the flow of the game anyway. But uh, yeah, kind of disappointed about that. But anyway, hopefully uh, you can forgive me and you won't send me too much hate mail. But uh, I'm kind of used to it by now. So anyway, uh, so let's take a look at what was actually changed in version 1.19. So it says there was the implementation of the character swap feature, and this is what I've kind of dubbed the uh, the bro switch patch. Uh, so this lets you switch bros in the middle of battle. Again, this is not during free roam, but in the middle of battle you can switch to the different bros. But the thing is, you have to actually unlock this skill first. You have to buy it in the techniques asc ascension tree. So if you go into your ascension menu and then you go down uh, or you go over to the techniques tree, you'll see that each of the bros kind of has a tree. So in the bottom, you've got Ignis. And if you follow this path down, you'll come to Ignis's change to Ignis, which lets you take control of Ignis mid battle with L1 and L2. That goes the same for the other bros. We've got Gladiolus here on the right. And then on the left, we have, uh, Prompto. So in order to initiate this you have to have one tech bar. It actually does take a tech bar each time you do it and to do it all you have to do is be in a battle, have that tech bar and then press L1 and L2 together. On the uh, the Xbox I think it's left shoulder and left bumper or left trigger or something like that but it's just the two left shoulder buttons. Once you do that, you have to press a D-pad movement, which um, correlates to the different bros. So all you do is hit that, and you'll see Noctis kind of tag that bro in, and then you get to control that bro. Uh, and they pretty much use the exact moveset that they would in their own episodes. So I will have a video where I kind of break down their each of their movesets and how to use them properly. But it's basically, if you play the bros episodes, then uh, it controls basically the same. So the great thing here is that you can actually go and control Ignis. And we haven't seen Ignis at all. We will be seeing his episode later tonight, actually. In about seven or eight hours, I will be streaming it live on the channel. So make sure you check that one out. So as far as other changes for this patch goes, there wasn't anything really too major, apart from the fact that that the online what used to be an online quest or a weekly quest has actually changed to a daily quest now two patches ago or 1.17 they actually ceased the online component of the timed quests so now they are actually on offline and every day they reset so this is a pretty good way to get points you'll only be able to get the points once a day for finishing the timed quest and you get a hundred qp for finishing those or quest points there has been no new rewards added but there has been some taken away uh, we used to be able to purchase different rewards in increments but at the moment we can only purchase them in their uh, maximum amounts another thing about the online removal now we can there's no restriction on any equipment or buffs or uh, summons or anything we use during these uh, timed quests so we can ring the, use the ring of the lucii we can use the magitech exosuits and we can use the Ragnarok in this one. So also added to this is the addition of compatibility with episode Ignis. So this will just make it kind of puts in the groundwork or the framework for episode Ignis, which we can download tonight as a separate piece of DLC if you have the season pass or you're going to purchase it standalone. I would expect the, uh, the episode to probably be about between three to five gigs maybe that's usually what we see with the episodes but it will definitely be a an additional download on top of this uh, compatibility download so with that we also have the addition of pieces from a multiplayer expansion comrades and episode ignis to the music player 
track list. So to the MP3 in battle, we've got um, we've got added some uh, a couple of tunes there. And along with that, there's also various bu bug fixes, which is also p version 1.12 has, um, sorry, 1.20 has just various bug fixes in it. So along with this, we also got an update to Comrades. Comrades has been updated now to 1.10. This is mainly a bug fix patch with a few minor upgrades or uh, details added to it, but I will be doing a separate video where I break down everything that has been added to it. So I think that about sums it up for the patch here, the 1.20, but if there's anything else you've noticed that I haven't quite called out, then I would appreciate you listing them down in the uh, comment section. If you did like this video, then please leave a thumbs up. If you want to call me a dirty scumbag for telling you that there was free roam, then go ahead. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon, Lion, Cow. Moo!